several weeks ago, we did an episode called Why Is That a Sin? Part one. And we looked at exactly why all the LGBTQT agenda and the pride stuff was a sin. Well, this week in part two of Why Is That a Sin? We want to look at some of the false betrayals of Jesus, the gospel, and the Bible. And not that they're just wrong, but they're sinful. Absolutely. A couple of weeks ago, we did an episode on Christian unity. If you listen to that episode, we said that there are essentials that must be believed by all Christians. Like, And if you're wondering why we feel the need to call out why certain things and certain teachings are a sin, instead of just keeping quiet about them and not disrupting unity, well, it's because the Bible tells us we should. Ephesians 5, 10 to 11 says, let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not become partners with them. For at one time you were darkness, but now you are light in the Lord. Walk as children of light, for the fruit of light is found in all that is good and right and true, and try to discern what is pleasing to the Lord. Take no part in the unfruitful works of darkness, but instead expose them. So we're not talking about someone teaching that the church is going to be raptured before facing any of the final judgments, even though we strongly disagree with that. We're talking about false teaching on the essentials. Yeah, and we call them out because of how important it is to understand and stand firm in what the Bible actually says, especially in the essentials. There's a lot of heretical teaching out there that frankly comes straight from hell. 